Hey everyone, welcome to the AZ500 Microsoft Azure Security Technology Series. In this video, I will introduce you to the comprehensive series that is designed to help you master the security concepts, tools, and practices that are required to become a proficient in securing Microsoft Azure environments. Whether you are preparing for AZ500 certification exam or looking to specialize in Azure security, this series will provide you with valuable insights and hands-on demonstrations to enhance your skills. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I welcome you to this series. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe the channel for latest updates. Well, this AC500 covers four important domains, which are managing identities and access, which covers the identity and access management, including the Entra ID, multi-factor authentication, conditional access policies, RBAC kind of concepts, which are helpful to protect the identities as the identity is the new perimeter. Next is securing the network. To secure the uh, infrastructure that you use to deploy your infrastructure as services is important to protect it from the network attackers or any intruder. And for that, the network security services like the distributed denial of services, DDoS, network security group, or web application firewalls, Azure Bastion, kind of concepts and services have been discussed in this series. Next is securing the compute, the hosts, the storage, and the database, where I will help you in understanding the Azure Key Vault Security Center, which is, uh, which is formerly Security Center, today is Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Sentinel for managing the security operations. Managing security operations covers the Microsoft Sentinel or Defender for Cloud kind of services to provide the SIEM SOAR operations. You will learn about the advanced threat protections, how do we deal with them, in this series. If you want to have all your credentials, your certifications in one single place, then create your learn.microsoft.com profile. This Microsoft Learn profile is one point, one single window where you can have all your credentials stored and show these credentials to your employers or to others whom you want to share the confidence that you have gained in particular subject. To access the courseware material, still you need to go to the Microsoft Learn profile and add the modules at your self pace. You can do them. This is the achievements area in the Microsoft Learn profile where you will see all your achievement pages. You can print them, you can share them with others. Become Microsoft certified, take your exam once you feel prepared and trained from this series. 92% of certified IT professionals feel more confident in their abilities after earning these certifications. That's a report from Pearson VUA. Get recognized by earning industry validation for technical knowledge. Ensure you stay current with the necessary skills and expertise for continued success. All Microsoft role-based and specialty certifications require the annual renewal. You have to renew these exams each year to continue with them. The fundamental exams do not require a renewal. You can learn about the certification renewals from aka.ms slash renew your certification. I will share these required links in the description of this video. Do visit the description of the video to gain all the necessary links and access to the resources. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet. See you in the first learning path of this series.